What's up, Data Pipeliners? Data Engineer One here. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how you can share your data catalog. As your Ketro projects grow and as your teams start to use Ketro, there's going to be a need to share your data assets. And in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how you can use GitHub to share your catalog entries with other team members and the rest of your organization. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, with the release of 0.16.5, we have this new hooks.py file. In this hooks.py file, you have a bunch of hooks that the project uses in order to construct the pipelines. We have the register pipelines, register config loader, and the register catalog. And now we're not going to be talking about the other two today. We're only going to focus here on the register catalog. This is the key. Now, as you know, Kedro uses the catalog to hold all of its data entries, its data sets as catalog entries. The registration of the catalog simply reads from the catalog.yaml file, the catalog description, and then loads it as a catalog object. For us to be able to share our data sources, what we need to do is we need to inject new catalog data into this function such that your project can read a catalog from a different source. And so this is what I've done here today. Located in the description, you will find a gist for this file. This is called the shared catalog hook. Now the shared catalog hook that I've written uses GitHub in order to hold your catalog.yaml entries. The reason why I chose GitHub is it's much easier to collaborate using a Git repository. And GitHub is one of the largest Git repository holders in the known internet, in the known universe. And so that's why I chose GitHub. I think it's a fantastic way to share your catalog entries because this way you can add in any kind of management or curation that you would like, taking advantage of the tools that Git gives you. So here in this example, what I've done is I've actually written a few functions, one called the read GitHub repo file and the read gist file. What these two functions do is they will actually take a access token, a gist or repo name slash ID, a file path or name, and then in the case of the repo, it takes a branch. And what it'll do is it'll go directly to that repository or to that gist file, download the file that you point at and return its raw contents. Then what I do is I take the raw contents and then transform that into a dictionary using yaml.load, and then we feed that new catalog configuration into the data catalog and return that data catalog. And so as you can see, like the register catalog function is just superb. It's fantastic because it allows us to do such complicated things very, very simply and easily. Uh, by just moving the register catalog into this separate hook, I can create a single file that you can use inside of your projects to take advantage of shared catalogs. And so the shared catalog relies on a GitHub access token. And thanks to this register catalog hook, we actually do have access to the credentials file. And so what I've done is I've added this GitHub access token in my credentials.yaml. Next, what it does is it takes that access token and then passes it into this library uh, called PyGitHub. It's a fantastic library that allows you to interact with GitHub using Python directly. Uh, and so what it'll do is it'll use that library and that access token in order to download this data. And I have a gist right here, and this is this gist that I'm using is one that I wrote. And as you can see, it's just a very simple Iris data set catalog entry. This should be familiar to everyone who's ever watched a few videos on this channel. Next, of course, I have to pass in the name of the file because gist allows you to have multiple files. So we got to make sure that we put the name. This yaml.load will return a dictionary. And then I pass that dictionary into the data catalog from config. If you would like, you can actually combine the previous catalog, the, the local catalog with the shared catalog by doing something as simple as this dictionary splatting. So what I can do is I can just splat the loaded catalog and then I can splat the, the, the local catalog and it'll combine the two catalogs for this new catalog output. And so we can actually get the best of both worlds, which is our local as well as our remote. Next, you need to make sure that you're actually adding the hook and removing the previous implementation of the hook. 
So inside of hooks.py, we already have a register catalog function. The truth is that you can only have one register catalog hook implementation. So we have to remove one of these guys in order to get this to work. In this case, I'm going to go into the hooks.py and remove the register catalog from the project hooks that's here. Next, I'm going to take the register catalog hook itself and add it into the run.py context. Now, this is one method of adding your hooks to your project context. There's actually a few others that we can do, uh, namely using the .kedro.yaml file or even using the pyproject.toml file to add those hooks. You can take a closer look at that API in the Kedro documentation. For now, I'm just going to use the project context hooks equal tuple paradigm. And since we've already added it here, if I open up my Jupyter Notebook and I just go ahead and do reload Kedro, this is a Kedro Jupyter Notebook, so I can do that. And I can type in catalog.list, you will see here that this Iris dataset does exist. And then if I remove the hooks and then I restart the notebook, loading the catalog list one more time, we see that the Iris dataset has disappeared. And again, just like a magic trick, I put the hook back, I reload Kedro, I relist the catalog, and voila, we have Iris data here. And so using GitHub, of course, is just one way that you can share your catalog entries. Using FS spec and even the built-in data sets that Kedro supports, you can also create your own custom catalog sharing mechanisms that will work for your projects and your project teams. That's it for today's episode. Thank you for joining me. If you enjoy this content, make sure that you button that like, sub that subscribe, and ring that ding if you want to know when we are pipelining. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. And now I have to take a photo for the thumbnail. All right, I think those are good enough. I don't know. <laughs>